Hi everybody, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is how to make your Minecraft run faster and look better, and who doesn't want that? Now in order to do so, I'm going to use a mod called Optifog and Optimine. And in fact, it's all right here rolled into one nice little package, and I'm going to show you how to install it. And then we'll hop into the game and I'll show you some of the tweaks you can make to make the game run faster. So this thing does a whole bunch of things behind the scenes, and it's all very technical and a lot of geek speak and I don't understand much of it, but the bottom line is, this is what we're looking for. Maximum FPS, frames per second. So we can get in there and modify a few very easy settings, and Minecraft is not only going to run faster, but it should look better as well. So let's get started, and I'll show you how to get this. Now, as always, there are disclaimers and warnings. Anytime you modify Minecraft, you have to be careful to back up your save files and anything else you want to back up. Also, make sure that this is going to be compatible with your version. This is compatible with Minecraft version 1.7.3. And if you scroll down here, if you have other mods installed, you want to make sure that this is going to be compatible. It is compatible with most of the most popular mods. And in fact, I found this mod through uh, the Yogbox when I installed Yogbox, and it is perfectly compatible with Yogbox. In fact, they recommend it right here, um, recommended to use the Optifog and Optimine mod, and that's where I located this thing. And I have installed it, and it does indeed make a big difference. Now, I'm going to start with a clean and fresh install with Minecraft, and I recommend you do the same thing. So here's what we're going to do is we're going to run Minecraft. We're going to force an update. And make sure that gives us a nice, fresh beta 1.0. 7.3, no mods, no nothing. Okay, we're good. I don't have my Yog box installed anymore. I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to close that down for the time being. And now we're going to go and back it up. Now this is going to be a relatively simple and quick and easy backup. Um, I did do a tutorial on backing up using a program called FBackup, and it's very simple. Once you get it installed, you run it. It's all automated. I will put a link in the description for this video. You really should go try that out. All right, let's, um, let's move on here. Okay, so to back up your folders, the quick and easy way to get there that I see a lot of comments talking about in um, when I upload videos and I show a different method, they always say, why not just go right through Minecraft? And sure, you can do that. Load up Minecraft, go to Mods and Texture Packs, and click on this button right here, Open Texture Pack Folder. And that does indeed open up your Texture Packs folder. So it's not perfect. It's not exactly where we want to be, but it's close enough. Now, make sure, and this is why I don't usually do it this way, make sure you now close Minecraft. That has to be closed down because we're going to open up that jar file later and make modifications to it. Uh, and you can't back it up when it's open. All right, so now go to up here in Minecraft. You want to go up one level. And you should see all these. Well, you, you may not see a lot of these because I already have Yogbox installed. But what we're mostly interested in is your save files. This is where your worlds are saved. We don't want to lose those. Um, however, for safety purposes, let's just grab the whole kit and caboodle. So go to Organize. I'm on Windows 7 here. Yours might look a little bit differently if you're not using Windows 7. But you want to go to um, Find Your Select All button. It's either under Edit or Organize or view rather, if you're using XP, I believe. Um, right click once all of these are highlighted. Now I'm using 7-Zip and you will need some kind of um, archiving program, either 7-Zip or WinRAR. And I'm just gonna go and choose add to minecraft.zip. And this is gonna zip up everything in this folder into one nice neat package. So if anything goes sour, if I lose my save worlds or something, I can always get them back. And where is it? Here it is, right here. So .minecraft.zip. So that's safe and sound. Now, um, if you want, you can copy that off somewhere. Maybe put it in your documents folder or on your desktop or something. I'll just go drop it on my desktop, get it out of the way. Um, so now that I have everything backed up, let's go ahead and get the mod. By the way, if you need 7-Zip or WinRAR, I did a tutorial on 7-Zip, how to, how to get it, how to install it, how to set it up. And I will put a description to that video. 
in this video. I mean, a link to that video in the description of this video. Blah, that's what I meant to say. All right, let's back up a little bit here. Just go to Google since I already was on the website. And you just want to type in Minecraft, type in Opti, and you'll see it. It should come right up, OptiFog or OptiMine. Should be the first one at the minecraftforum.net. Forums, click on that, scroll down a tad, and choose the combined download. This, oh, by the way, this also gives you support for HD textures and fonts, so you can use um, high definition texture packs. Very nice. Click on the first download, and of course, this is going to go to AdFly to support the mod developers. And I recommend um, if you do enjoy these mods and go ahead and click on their little PayPal buttons too, their donate buttons, because these guys put a lot of work into these things and they're fantastic and we should support them. Now I've already downloaded this. I'm not going to do it again, but you're going to click on download. And there it goes. Well, I guess I did do it again. How didn't I? All right. I'm going to go here now to the download folder and I've got two copies because again, I've already downloaded it. I only need one copy. So here's your Optifog and Optimine downloaded file. So now what we need to do is um, get into the minecraft.jar file and we're going to copy these files in. So let's open this up first. Again, this is where you need your 7-zip or WinRAR. Right click on it, go to 7-zip and click on Open Archive. And as you can see, it's got a whole bunch of Java files in here. All right now let's go get our minecraft.jar and here's the other way to do it. Click on your start button, type in percent a p p d a t a percent. So it's percent symbol app data percent enter and your folder is right here, Minecraft folder. Open that up. You want to go to the bin folder and you want to find minecraft.jar. These are other, just ignore these. I've actually created these with Yogbox and Yogbox Opti, and I, I renamed them. But this is the one we want. It's Minecraft.jar. Right click it, choose 7-zip, open archive. Let's go back to the other archive. So now we have two 7-zip files. These, This is where Minecraft, uh, Minecraft.jar files are, and this is the actual mod. So what we want to do here is select all of these files. Go to edit, select all, and they're all highlighted then drag and drop them. Just click and hold and drag and drop them down here in the white space. Don't put them over here because they might go into a folder and that will be bad. You'll get a confirmation, confirm file copy, click on yes, and that's done. We don't need that anymore. Now this is critical or else you'll get a black screen. This folder right here, meta INF, needs to be deleted. So highlight it, click delete. Are you sure? Yes. Close that down. We can close that down. Close all this down. That's pretty much it. Um, now let's go and run Minecraft and check it out. Why do I have so many windows open? I won something. Okay, so now let's run Minecraft. I'm going to log in. I'm going to load up an old world called New World. Now, if you recall, I'm on my Office PC. If you're familiar with my other tutorials, this Office PC is not very fast. And it usually lags, particularly when I'm recording. Right now, it's running awesome. And I'm going to go to Options, go to Video Settings, and you can see there's a lot more video settings. Now, the, if you want the absolute ultimate fastest experience, you're going to set um, Graphics to Fast. You're going to set uh, fog to fast, OpenGL to fast, and fog. Oh, I already said fog, and what's the other one? Render distance um, to tiny or short. The only problem with that is you're going to get a lot of fog. I like to keep that as normal. Try normal first. You can muck around in there and see what works best for you. You can go into details here too, and you can actually turn things off. If it says default, then it's the, the global um, setting is going to override this. But if you want to override the global setting, you can do this. You can make them fancy, fast, or you can just shut them right off. If you don't want clouds, shut them off. But I just leave them as default. Um, I haven't really messed around with a lot of these, but you can 
certainly give it a try if you want. It gives you a little bit fine-tuned control over each um, individual feature, graphic feature. But as you can see, it's running very smoothly. I do have fast graphics on, so the graphics up here look a little bit different than the trees. But um, let's um, let's get the frame rate up. All right. Well, press E inventory. Okay, get rid of that. Taking inventory. Yay. Um, press um, it's F3. That shows my coordinates. I thought this showed the FPS. It does. 46 frames per second. Oh, and this you can also mess around with the chunks as well. You can preload chunks. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to affect performance, but again, you can get in and make some major and minor tweaks to the individual items to see how it works with your system. But again, if you want the fastest, just do what I said. The, the three, uh, those four settings, put them all on fast, and that'll give you about the best performance you're going to get. You can mess around with the fog to make it closer, make it farther. So I'm getting very good frame rate, even with the recording program on. Much better than before. My pigs have numbers now. That's cool. 1153, come here. Quick, get 1155. Um, or not. Okay, so let's get rid of that because it's ugly. Go back into the settings. Um, and again, you can do a little short, tiny, far. I'm going to do short. It'll run even faster now. Now it's fluctuating a little bit here, but at up to 80 at one point frames per second, 73. Now the fog is um, obviously a little closer to me, but it looks nicer. This mod makes the fog look awesome. I don't mind it so much. Again, it's some kind of fancy stuff in the background that I don't really understand. All I care about is being fast and pretty. It's just the way we like it. Fast and pretty. Right, 1147? Good job. Well, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Go ahead and install your Opti Fog and Opti Mine. And play Minecraft faster for sure and better and you can also do HD textures that's a nice little bonus alright guys gals take care have a nice day